Welcome to the CSSN channel. Our topic for today is 10 medical complications of rapid weight loss. My name is Abuzar Habibinia. I have an MD degree and I am the director of the Canadian Academy of Sport Nutrition. Subscribe to the CSSN channel on YouTube to enjoy the information that we share on a regular basis about medicine, weight loss, fitness and sport nutrition. Okay, for today, I'm going to talk to you about 10 medical complications or unwanted effects of rapid weight loss. But first, let's see what is rapid weight loss actually. There is no consensus about definition of rapid weight loss. In 2012, about eight years ago at the CSSN, we proposed a definition for it. This was the basically definition that we proposed. If you lose weight, more than three pounds of your body weight in a week we call them rapid weight loss and also in some medical books this is the definition they use if you lose five percent or more of your body weight in a month we're going to call them rapid weight loss imagine someone is uh, 200 pounds five percent of 200 is going to be about 10 pounds so if that person loses 10 pounds or more in one month, we're gonna call them rapid weight loss. In general, rapid weight loss we see mostly among those people who undergo any kind of obesity surgeries or basically they follow any kind of fad diets. Definitely in the future, I'm gonna talk about fad diets and also those obesity surgeries. But let's review those 10 medical complications. Okay, number one. Uh, number one is this uh, saggy skin. This is probably the most uh, common complication of rapid weight loss. It is because of the loss of skin elasticity. When you lose weight quickly because you don't move muscles, and also the skin doesn't have enough time basically to tighten itself, that's why you're gonna see saggy skin. Saggy skin you may see under the chin, in the arms, in the legs, or around the even belly. Complication number two is this. Loss of muscles. Definitely those people, they lose weight rapidly because they don't exercise enough and also because they don't take right amount of protein they lose some of their muscle mass complication number three is this fatty liver non-alcoholic fatty liver so if you lose weight rapidly you can induce fatty liver or if someone has fatty liver already because of rapid weight loss, the fatty liver could get even worse. And we know the reason. It's because of the mobilization of tissue triglyceride, which has got to increase the total amount of triglyceride delivered to the liver. Complication number four is this. Gallstone. Unfortunately, I'm going to put in here about 10 to 20 percent of those people, they lose weight rapidly, they can develop gallstone in the future. Please keep in mind that if you lose weight rapidly today or tomorrow, you are not going to develop a gallstone within the next few weeks. It's going to take definitely a month, maybe six, seven months from now, maybe a year from now. And again, we know the reasons. Actually, there are two uh, reasons why you might develop gallstone here's the first one when you lose weight rapidly the gallbladder is gonna lose its normal activity it becomes sort of hypomobile doesn't have those normal contraction that used to have and on the other hand because of rapid weight loss we can have uh, uh, basically mobilization in tissue cholesterol which is gonna increase the total amount of cholesterol in bile so when you lose weight rapidly the total amount of cholesterol in the bile will go up and on the other hand your gallbladder is gonna become sort of hypermobile which these two are the best foundation ever for developing gallstone later in your life complication uh, number five is this 
gallbladder inflammation actually it is well known in medicine that rapid weight loss can lead to development of gallbladder inflammation this is especially true among those people basically they undergo any kind of obesity surgeries this is why uh, there is a hot debate among surgeons whether we remove gallbladder at the same time that they are doing uh, obesity surgeries complication number six is this a u b AUV stands for abnormal uterine bleeding. Those ladies basically try to lose weight quickly, rapidly. They might experience abnormal uterine uh, bleeding. The most common form of abnormal uterine bleeding we see is this. I'm going to put in here uh, amenorrhea. That means when you lose weight rapidly, you may lose, you know, you may miss one or two of your monthly periods. Even though amenorrhea is the most common form of abnormal uterine bleeding that we see among those people, they lose weight rapidly. However, it could be, you know, some other form as well, like heavy bleeding. And we know the science behind. Here is the reason. When you lose weight rapidly, the communication between the ovaries and the brain definitely uh, is going to be messed up. We call them, I'm going to put in here, we call them uh, hypothalamic uh, pituitary ovary axis. So when you lose weight, the communication between the ovaries and those two glands in the brain, the pituitary gland and the hypothalamus will be messed up, which is going to lead to hormonal imbalances. So when you lose weight rapidly, abnormal uterine bleeding comes from hormonal imbalances and that hormonal imbalances comes from hypothalamic pituitary ovaries axis disruption complication number seven a sleep disorder a sleep disorders you know i'm gonna put in here uh, at the cssn we have noticed that about 25% of those people, they lose weight rapidly. They may develop a sleep disorder. A sleep disorder could be like they have difficulty falling asleep. They have difficulty staying in sleep. And few studies show that if you lose weight rapidly, uh, that rapid weight loss could lead to basically imbalance between two hormones, adenosine and melatonin, which could lead to a sleep disorder. As I said, uh, based on uh, numbers that we have at the CSSN, we see among 25% of those people, they lose weight rapidly. Number eight, changes in taste. Changes in taste. This is strange. At the CSSN, we have noticed that about 40%, I'm gonna put in here, for the person of those people they lose weight rapidly they report changes in their taste actually a few years ago an article was published by stanford university in the usa what they have done is this they had followed those people they had gone under uh, basically any kind of obesity surgeries 87 percent of those people they had gone under sort of obesity surgery. They reported uh, basically changes in their taste. The mechanism, why this happens, how it happens, we don't know yet. Uh, number nine. Number nine is this. Feeling cold. Those people, they lose weight rapidly, you know, after a few weeks, few months. Uh, they're gonna start experiencing, you know, how come I am feeling cold? There are two reasons behind that. Number one, when you lose weight rapidly, you know, the, the fat under the skin definitely will go away. 
the fat under your skin is gonna act as a sort of thermal insulation so when the fat under the skin goes away that's why you're gonna start feeling cold and the second reason is this when you lose weight rapidly after a few weeks and few months your metabolism is gonna go down when your metabolism goes down you're gonna start feeling cold this is the same reason that why you know those people they have low function thyroid I'm not sure if you have anybody with low function thyroid in your circle usually even though they are on medication to get their you know hormone levels fixed but still they complain that they feel a little bit cold because when you have low function thyroid your metabolism is going to go down about 20 percent complication number 10 is it's something it's called we call it pet 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 stands for i'm going to put in here uh, Petulous Eustachian Tube Petulous Eustachian Tube This is one of the complications of rapid weight loss It is basically sort of dysfunction of the Eustachian Tube As you know there is a tube that's about 3.5 centimeters that connects your throat to the middle ear. The main function of Eustachian tube is the adjust the pressure in your middle ear. You know, in around this around the Eustachian tube, we have some fatty tissues. Those fatty tissues compresses the Eustachian tube. That's why Eustachian tube is closed most of the time. But when you lose weight rapidly, what happens is this: the fat around the Eustachian tube will shrink. When that fat around the Eustachian tube shrinks, definitely the Eustachian tube that was supposed to be closed most of the time will stay open most of the time. So when you have a Eustachian tube open most of the time, it's going to generate some uh, unpleasant symptoms. Here are a few symptoms that you know some people they complain after uh, rapid weight loss. It because they have developed PET. Some of those unpleasant symptoms uh, such as they feel fullness in their ear. They can hear uh, their own sounds, voice, breathing uh, louder than normal. It's very famous in medicine. We say that if you lose weight rapidly, you may experience bucket on the head effect. Imagine you, know, you put a bucket on top of your head then you try to say something, you try to talk. What you're going to experience is this. You're going to hear your own voice, sounds, even your own breathing louder than normal. And patchless gestation to you could be because of a weight loss. Sometimes it could be for some other reasons. Sometimes in medicine they cannot find any reason. But actually a few studies shows that those people that complain of patchless gestation to you if you take a basically complete history from them up to 30 percent of them in their history they had rapid weight loss and unfortunately the symptoms of uh, patchless eustachian tube will get worse by exercise so we discussed the 10 uh, medical complications of rapid weight loss this is why we never suggest at the CCSN that someone to lose weight rapidly I really hope that you learned something interesting today because we make science easy to understand now you know if you don't want to miss the video that we post on a regular basis on CSN channel you can subscribe to our channel to support us you can share like or comment on this video until next time stay safe stay connected